Okay, this is the TAC Life IPX4. And when you're here, if you put it on this position at the number two and you hit power, this is manual. So as you see, when I remove my finger, it stops. It reverses the rotation. Right now. And let me flip it back to number one and hit this one and see what rotate what side it goes. To. This is the stop and start button. This is the circuit breaker or fuse. That's as you see right there. It's a little bit dusty. But it works. This is the cord. Yep, it has a protective thingy right here. You just take this out. Just like this. And now you can plug it in. Just put this here. This is where you would put the cable, your extension cord. Usually I just put it through there a little bit just in case if I pull it back or something. Just like this. And put it back in there. And now it's ready to go. And on this side, here's where you have, where you uh, adjust the thickness of the blade. You go forward and backwards. And what that changes is the gears inside. Let me show you from the pusher here, as you see. That's the blade that cuts through right there. And you adjust the space from the blade to the wall here. It is completely uh, metallic, as you see right there. And it's been really good for these two years I've had it. It's actually been doing pretty, pretty good. This is where the motor is in the front, all made of metal, really nice and thick. And the cutter is underneath here. I'm not sure how much the camera is showing you, but it's right there. And here's where you would hang the bag in both sides. And we're gonna do that just now. That's the bag that comes with it. Put one handle right here and the other handle right here. And we're gonna try to shred some regular wood sticks, some bamboo, some pine wood, and some more bamboo, and we'll see how this wood chipper does it. And besides that, yes, it comes with the wheels in here that you can just grab here by the handle, and as you see, it tilts on the wheel so you can drag it around. Yes, it is all removable if you take it off. And if I'm not wrong, Sanjo makes another version of this. And it's quite kind of the same thing. And yes, that's the rating for the noise, 94 decibel. And besides that, these are all the features it has. Yes, it's a 15 amp motor. So make sure you have a 15 amp, 120 volts, idle speed, 60 RPMs. Current 15 amps, as you see right here. Max cut in 1.73 inches. You'll see here in just a second. And uh, here's the pusher that comes with it to push stuff down there. Pusher never touches the blade, so it's safe to drop it like that. And we will just start cutting.
and when you're here if you put it on this position at the number two and you hit power this is manual so as you see when I remove my finger it stops it reverses the rotation right now and let me flip it back to number one and hit this one and see what rotate what side it goes to. Yep, really good machine. And this is what we produced. It's really good for the garden, for the trees. Just as you see right here. One piece got chewed up, but it's still broken. And really good stuff for the garden. I really like it. Now let me put some of the pine, because that I think I forgot. So I'm gonna throw some pine in and see what it does. Here's the pine that we just grinded. Eh, one piece fell through, so I'll have to put it back again. But for the most part, that's what it does. And I have it just a medium setting. Really nice and really nutritious stuff for trees and plants. And I'm not sure if they sell this exact tack life anymore, but San Joe I know makes a version that's the exact same thing, even the design. Pictures on the wall tell happy tales of a love that's faded, a dream that faded. Whiskey don't burn like it used to, counting on the pain I'm going through. I'm haunted by the ghosts of our past. This broken heart was made to last The creaking floors, empty bed Echoes of words that were never said